All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the video to help you guys out with the review packet of 051, 052, 053, 054 quiz review packet. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, come to Extra Help or ask me via email or ask me during class. I'll be happy to help you out. All right, so here's problem number one of the review packet. N is greater than 2. So we practice some of these inequalities in class. First thing you should notice is looking at this inequality. Is this supposed to be an open circle or a closed circle? Anytime this inequality does not have a line underneath, it's going to be an open circle. So we already know that A is incorrect and D is incorrect because they have two closed circles. So it's either going to be B or C because they have an open circle. And we know it's at 2. Now the other thing we need to talk about, or that we did talk about in class, is greater than or less than. This reads N is greater than 2. Remember we always want to read left to right. Always, always, always. So n is greater than 2. The alligator always eats the biggest number. That's always going to be eat, it's always going to eat the greatest number. So n is greater than 2. Greater than is to the right. So it's option B. So B is the correct answer. So 1 is B. Next up, problem number 2. This says n is greater than 1. Notice there's no line underneath, so it's an open circle. So this closed circle is out. This is positive 1, so negative 1 doesn't work out. n is greater than 1, so the arrow is not going to the left, it's going to the right. So number 2 is C. Next up is number 3. 3 says P is less than or equal to negative 3. So less than is to the left, so we know we could cross out that arrow for D. D is incorrect. So our arrow is going to the left, less than or equal to. That's a closed circle, so this open circle is definitely not correct. Either A or B, and since we're talking about negative 3, so it's going to get negative 3, not positive 3. So number 3, the answer is A. Let's look at problem number 4. We have x is greater than or equal to negative 5. So all of these are at negative 5. Greater than or equal to is a closed circle. So the open circle ones are incorrect. It says x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Greater than is to the right. So 4 is a. All right. Problem number 5. This is when we're graphing the quadratic equations and dealing with the inequalities. So we have y is greater than or equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 7. We type this into the graphing calculator to make our life a little bit easier. So I'm going to open up the graphing calculator. Bring it down right here. We hit our y equals button and we're going to type this equation in. x squared, oh pardon me, 2x squared. 2x squared minus 8x plus 7. We hit our graph. We're going to see what our graph looks like. Notice that our parabola is in quadrant 1 and 2 for the most part. So we look at our options here of A, B, C, D. Our parabola, well, option C, the parabola is in quadrant number 2. So that's not correct. 5A, the parabola is all in quadrant 1. That wasn't what it shows on here on the graphing calculator. It shows that it's in mostly in quadrant one, but there's also a little dip. The vertex is in quadrant four. Not the whole thing in quadrant four. It would be B. That's what our picture is going to look like. Now we're also going to talk about inequalities. Y is greater than or equal to the parabola. Greater than is above. Now we could also test a point by testing a point right there in the middle. We could test that point 2, 4, putting 2 in for x and 4 in for y. Or we could use that um, shading sheet that we that I provided during class there that will help you out with the shading. y is greater than, this could be shaded above this u and everything inside the u. Alright, let's move on to problem number 6. So problem number six says y is greater than x squared plus 2x plus 4. 
So we type that into the graphing calculator. We hit the y equals button. x squared plus 2x plus 4. We hit our graph button. We see our graph is mostly in quadrant 2 with a little bit of an arm going into quadrant 1. So let's look at our graph, see if we can eliminate anything. So most of our parabola or vertex was in quadrant 2, so A is incorrect. C looks pretty good. B is incorrect, and D is incorrect. So by the process of elimination, we know it's C. But also we need to talk about greater than, so it's a dashed line. And Y is greater than X squared. So it's going to be inside the parabola going up, shaded up. Number seven. We have y is less than or equal to negative three x squared minus 18x minus 23. We type this right into the graphing calculator, see what it's gonna look like. So negative three x squared. Remember when you, a negative starts off, when it starts off with a negative, you have to use that negative button on the bottom, not the subtraction symbol with the negative. The ones in the middle get that minus sign or subtraction sign of minus 18x minus 23. With the graph button. Our vertex is in quadrant two and majority of our graph is in quadrant three. So let's see if we can eliminate any of them, which we definitely can. C is incorrect. D is incorrect. But A and B are very similar where the vertex is in quadrant two and the arms are in quadrant three. So, but what's different between A and B is where it's shaded. So Y is less than or equal to? Well, if I look at this graph on B, that red dot is less than negative four, one. But it's not shaded. Since it's not shaded, we know this is B is incorrect. If I put a dot here below the parabola, that's below this negative three, four. Put that red dot right there. It is shaded. Y is less than, so that means the shade is down below, below the parabola. So seven is A. Number eight. We type into the graphing calculator. We see the majority of the parabola is in quadrant four. Let's do some eliminating. That's not in quadrant four. That is, that's not. Well, we have a negative parabola, so I could cross out D, because that's a positive parabola. So our option, our correct answer is eight is C. Y is greater than negative X squared. So when Y is greater than a negative X squared, it's gonna be above the parabola. So A to C. All right, let's look at nine. We're gonna be graphing absolute value equations. So we're gonna type this right into the graphing calculator. Hit our Y equals button. Now to find the absolute button on your graphing calculator, you need to hit the math button, scroll to the right where the black box is on num, and our first option is ABS, which stands for absolute value. So I'm gonna hit enter on that. Now bring us back to the screen and put ABS on it. Then you type in X plus four, close parentheses, because that's the end of our absolute value. Then plus two. We hit the graph button to see what the graph is gonna look like. The vertex of our absolute value equation is in quadrant two. So let's look at our multiple choice here. A is in quadrant two, but C is not. That's in quadrant one. B is in quadrant three. D is in quadrant four. So by process of elimination, we know it's A. That's the answer number nine. Let's move on to number 10. So we gotta type this equation in. Hit your Y equals. To find that absolute value, we hit math. 
scroll to the right one hit our enter for ABS X minus one close parentheses plus one we hit the graph button we can see our vertex is in quadrant one and we got a positive V this is in quadrant two so that won't work that's in quadrant three won't work quadrant two won't work I'm looking at all these vertexes that's how I cross them out this vertex is in quadrant one and it's a positive acid value so the correct answer is C for number 10 moving on number 11 we type it into the graphic calculator we hit our math we hit our right arrow key we hit our enter we get ABS the acid value of X minus 3 close parentheses plus 3 hit our graph we see what the graph looks like the vertex is also in quadrant 1 and it's a positive V so let's take a look that ain't it ooh that could be it that was too quick that ain't it and that's not it so the answer is B 11 is B number 12 we have y equals absolute value of x minus 3 plus 1 so let's put that in a graphic calculator same old same old hit math right arrow key 1 or enter we got the ABS we're going to type in x minus 3 close parentheses plus 1 hit the graph button once again our vertex is in quadrant 1 and it's a positive parabola so it can't be B can't be D but A and C look very very close very familiar A is 3 to the right 1 up C is 1 to the right 3 up so now to figure out if we got the right answer we have to go into our table so second graph we go into a table when x is 3 the y value is 1 that's the coordinate 3 1 remember you could just plot these coordinates especially if you're just given a graph you could and you have to plot them all this is where you could plot all your coordinates like we practiced in class so 3 1 is a coordinate so 3 to the right 1 up that's a coordinate 3 to the right 1 up clearly the c value doesn't go in through the correct coordinate so 12 is a number 13 we have y equals absolute value of x plus 1. We type that in. Math, right arrow key, enter. Absolute value of x plus 1. Hit our graph. We see it's right on the y axis. And the problem is going up. A is incorrect. B is incorrect because that's on the x-axis at 1. D is correct. It's crossing the vertex is that positive 1. And C is that negative 1, so we cross that out. So our correct answer for number 13 is D. Is D. Number 14. We have Y is equal to the absolute value of X minus 4. So I'm just going to adjust this. Oh no. Alright, I think I broke the calculator. Well, anyway, as the value of x, it's a positive v. Minus 4 is where it's crossing the y axis. Since it's a positive, a is not a correct answer because it's a negative. It's crossing at negative 4 on the y axis. So that's crossing on the x. This is crossing on the y. D is the correct answer for number 14. Next up, we got a list of domain. The domain values are just the x values. So in this case, it'll be 5, 12, 17, 61, and 13. Those are my five x values. So when I list my domain, I'll just list them right in order of 5, 12, 17, 61, and 13. For number 16, we're also doing a domain once again. Domain is just the x values. So it'll be 34, 31, 27, 51, and 43. 
17. We're doing the range values. Range is the y values, so all the y values in the coordinates that's given us. So it's 19, 52, 14, 12, and 17. Next up is number 18. We're also finding the range, so that'd be 29, 22, 74, 32, and 57. Those five numbers are our range. Those are the y values. Once again, if you have any questions or concerns, please come see me during extra help or send me an email. All right, have yourself a good night.